Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today you are going to learn how to make this crazy ashtray that I got inspired in uh, David Port's artwork. So let's start. Start by adding a cylinder and in cap fill type select triangle fan. Scale it up a little bit. In edit mode, edit the cylinder like this. Select the top panel. Don't forget to select the center too. Hit I for inset and E for street. Alt C for enable the X-ray view. Remember that you can also follow the shortcuts right here. Inset in this panel and make some divisions. Create a loop cut in the inner side and in the other side. Both must be in the same height. Go to the top view and select 4 parallel faces. Select these faces too. X and delete faces. Now fill all these holes, select two edges and hit F. Repeat the process. Add a sub -D modifier and let's see our progress. Looks good. Set your viewport levels and render levels. Add a loop cut in the bottom panel to make it flat. Select these edges and repeat the process. After selected, Ctrl B for bevel them. Modify your ashtray. Make it shorter or as you like. Select the subdivisions that we make in this part and bevel them. Now, extrude them and move them up, just a little bit. Now create a camera and position it as you like. Remember you can enable lock camera to view for position it faster. Now for the illumination, I use area lights in the back part and in the sides part of my object. A small light in the top and back. Now time to texture it. Remember to activate the node wrangle add-on. Create a new material for Astrid. Add a noise texture with a color ramp. And if you see your texture is enlarging in some parts, add a texture coordinate and plug object in the noise vector. Play it with color ramp just like this. In noise texture, set distortion to 0.5, roughness to 0.55, detail to 1, and scale select a low value. Add a mix RGB after the color ramp. Connect color ramp to factor. Now duplicate these three nodes and connect the doubles like this. Mm -hmm. 
modify the scales a little bit. Play with the colors as you like. Then play with the options of the first mixer RGB. To move the texture you can use a mapping node before the noise textures. Now in the normal of the principal BSDF, add a bump with a noise texture. Connect the mapping in the noise vector and the noise texture in the bump height. Set a high scale value in the noise texture. Detail the top, roundness to 0.65 and distortion to 1. Play with the bump strength as you like. Create another bump for the normal of the first bump. Add a noise texture with a color ramp. Play with the values of the noise texture, especially with the noise distortion. Play with the color ramp. Keep playing with the colors. In the world notes, I mixed two backgrounds and added a light path with in camera array connected to the factor of the mix shader. This is a classic configuration that I made in my other tutorials. In one background select the color of the world, the other background is used for illumination. Give some final details. Oh damn, I forgot to play with the second bump strength. Play with metallic and roughness of the principal BSDF. Always experiment. That looks good for me. Set your render settings, F12, and done. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe and share this to your other artist friends. Remember to follow me on Instagram and I have Patreon too if you want to support me in that platform too. The project file is uploaded in Patreon. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day. Bye.